Hey guys, welcome to another update video for you from uh, Liverpool. Um, I've decided to do this now in every February and May uh, since the uh, Liverpool Week video things were so popular. Um, you know, I was originally just going to do May, but I decided to go with February and May as well, just you know, because it's halfway through the season and all that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, just to give you kind of update on how we're doing. Um, and to be honest, it's not amazing. It could be a hell of a lot worse, to be honest, but it's not amazing. Um, well, I'll show you the Premier League then real quick. Um, fourth, which, I mean, it ain't bad. I mean, obviously, we're only four points off second United, so you think, oh, that's not bad. But City are just running away with it. I mean, they are ridiculous this season. I mean, way better than they are in real life. Um, let's see. I mean, where's their fixture? I mean, they yeah, barely lost. I mean, they lost to Leon. Well, they lost to Leon quite badly. But look at that. I mean, they've had a blip against Tottenham. Uh, they're in the League Cup semi. Uh, so they're in the League Cup final, which is uh, relevant, as I'll tell, tell you in a moment. They beat Chelsea in the FA. Chelsea at the FA Cup. Um, they wow, yeah, they wow. Tottenham beat them twice. They play Tottenham. Um, however, one piece of good news, of course, um, is we beat them in the Community Shield. Now, I cannot remember if I told you this. Uh, I think it's because I'm probably going to get a little bit confused if. Um, yeah, that, oh, that'll be, because I put this on a live stream, I, I pretty much went from about July to, like, October, November on a live stream, pretty much just straight through one night, um, so if I do uh, think, oh, I've, uh, I've shown this already, then uh, I probably haven't, so, um, yeah, so we, we won the Community Shield, which is really good, I mean, as you can see, we dominated, I mean, Danny Wilson again, possibly using the corner glitch, I really don't know, <laughs> I'm sorry if I am, I don't know, well, I don't know if I'm doing it or not, I supposedly am, uh, Hamshik scored the blinder, then Ed and Jekka, I thought this was going to go straight to penalties, I mean, you can see we dominated, I was like, oh, maybe City's, you know, thing is ruining a bit, but, um, you know, maybe their dominance is going down, but, um, we dominated them really, you know, I mean, they were really restricted to very poor shots, but they've gone from strength to strength since, but never look about City, let's have a look at ours, um, I've shown you most of these uh, fixtures. Uh, as you can see, you know, there's loads of different blips. We got beat by Arsenal, which wasn't good. And then Newcastle, I cannot seem to play Newcastle. And then Chelsea, which is even worse. Atletico Madrid couldn't beat them in the Champions League. Um, we are a Champions League group. We did qualify. Uh, I don't know if you saw it at the top there. We are playing Paris Saint-Germain in the next round. I mean, it was a, a non-group, really. I mean, Stanley Age, not very good. Olymp Olympiacos, nowhere near as good as they used to be. Uh, beat, we beat uh, Olympiacos at their place, first game, 2 0 calls from Coates and Jekko. Beat Standard, Honda, Ronda, and Jekko. That reminds me, I should probably show you the transfers before I do that. Um, actually, should I? Actually, no, it doesn't matter, I'll just show you them now. Um, then lost to Atletico. Lorea scored a blind end, and again, I holidayed this one because I just thought, oh, fuck, I hate Atletico, I hate playing them. Um, Jekko, Sterling, Suarez and Wilson scored for Olympiacos and Air Forest against the Pakistan Anfield. Suarez got four against Standard uh, and Edin Dzeko there. So, you know, it was a far easier than uh, Season 3. But I'll show you the transfers who were brought in. This includes for um, Summer and, um, and January. I don't think I actually even brought anyone in in January. <laughs> That's a bit of a problem. But as you can see, the transfer budget, I didn't spend any of it. And I'll explain that. Well, barely any of it. I spent like 30 million of it. Um, talked about players before. We've got... Um, well, players going out first. Um, as you know, in case some of you didn't know, um, I sold Charlie Adams in Newcastle and Jordan Henderson to West Ham. I know that. I know you might be thinking, wow, you've really not let them go for very little. You know, very little. But to be honest, I just wanted to get them out of my hair. Um, I really wasn't bothered. Because, uh, I mean, I didn't buy them. So, like, it doesn't count as a, doesn't technically count as a profit or loss. So, <laughs> um, that's a good one. Uh, Lech had let you go. He got a little bit disenchanted with me. To be honest, he, weren't, he wasn't that great either, to be honest. I mean, he had okay. He scored in the League Cup final, but in Season 3, he winged me. He doesn't really do a lot for the team. He loses possession a lot. He doesn't get himself about. And the same goes for Vukasic, who um, I took a gamble on him, to be honest. One of my scouts recommended me. I mean, he's okay, but he, he doesn't have that impact. He's a bit like... Um, he's a bit like David and Gog. You know, he's, he's a decent player, but... No impact. He doesn't do it. What, what what does he do as a strike? You know, he, you hoof the ball up to him and he's like, eh, I'll let someone else get it. You know, kind of thing. So, um, I just, I thought, screw him, get him, leverage him. So, buy him, pay the one million for him, uh, loan, and then they have an option to buy him with seven million. So, um, 
I think some of you may have saw this. Uh, Dort have signed, obviously, Demar De Maria. Simon Kajir uh, signed him from Wolfsburg. I had, a lot of, I had like 50, 60 million, so I thought, okay, I'm going to splash out one big play. Whereas the leak last time, it was in the defence, which it still appears to be. So, um, Which is weird, because we've got a load of really good defenders. Wilson, Quattes, Cahill, Aga, Kajir, but I don't know. Um, and uh, the actually, actually, yeah, this is bringing me on to the next point. So I thought, okay, I've got a new centre-back. I need a new win-back. And I bought in Adam Matthews from Celtic, who used to play Celtic at uh, Cardiff, which is weird. I think I may have even been in my called Cardiff team on FM11 uh, for £2 million. The reason I picked him is because... I don't know if he's, he's, not, he's, not, he's, not, he's not a regen. Um, he can play on the right and the left. He's very versatile. So I like him. He's got good potential. Uh, actually, I'll show you that as well. He's got pretty decent potential. Um... You know, he's fairly good plays. Okay, he's not amazing. Third right back, rest right back. I agree to. I disagree with that entirely. He's better than these two, in my opinion. Um, and he scored a blinding goal, which I'll show you later. Um, Jenna Shakiri, not that great on this. Very underpowered. Um, bought him for 14 million from Wolves. I thought I'd get him for a little bit less, but I had money to play with, and I just sold Henderson. So I was like, yeah, buy him. Why not? I mean, he's at Wolves. He was under cheer, and I think Wolves really stole his progress there. If he, I think he goes to Wolves. He tends to go to like Wolves-like teams, which is a bit weird. Um, Sven Bender. This was a weird one. It was on transfer deadline day, and I didn't get to register him, so he's barely played in the Premier League. He played um, in the World Club Championship, and he's played in something else, which I'll show you in a moment. Played in a few Champions League games. That's about it. So, uh, Andreas Hinkelman is a free transfer recommended by my scouts. Um, the DMC. He's only he's only nineteen. He's worth one. Point six. That's not bad for that age, I suppose. Um, a defensive midfielder, you know, he's not as good as Sven Bender, but he has the potential to be a quality player, according to Gary McAllister. So I play with him. Um, this was another youngster. I think he's like sixty, and I paid a million. For oh, sorry, no, I both want a free transfer, but I have to pay compensation. But as I say, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, he's you know potential to be a good player. He's four and a half star potential, pretty good. So he's English. He's a left back. He's sixteen. I went for him. And Gerard De La Faux, Um He's on very little wages, on loan. He's one of the big one, the kids in the game. Um, I thought, Barcelona have him up for loan. No one's going in for him. He's just sitting there. Why the hell not? Um, he can speak basic English as well, I think. So, why not? What, 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 what have I got to lose? He's, I can sit him there. He can sit there if he's shit. He can sit him on the bench. Or I can send him back. It's a win-win situation for me. I've got a great player. Couldn't, couldn't uh, get Pedro. He's gone to Leon. I think he's on loan again. They can't get rid of him. They're asking price is ridiculous. No, they can't get rid of him. Um, so, yeah, so you've seen the league. Uh, I'll show you the rest of the fixtures then. Um, we advanced then in the League Cup as well. Beat Chelsea 3. We played Chelsea in Man United, I swear to God. Bueno, Dzeko and Quartes. You can see centre-backs constantly getting in the goals. Uh, Cavani brought one back. He just, Chelsea are a one-man team on this, really, are with Cavani. Um, the fourth round, we played Blackburn. That was back-to-back. -back. Uh, Suarez with the double. Um, fifth round. Oh, sorry. No, let's do this one. Um, the Club World Championship. Okay, we played Okayama. I think we played earlier in the season. Yes, we did, and lost one nil. That's really funny. Um, you may have seen the results there. Hopefully, you didn't. If not, I'll try and hide it from you. <laughs> uh, four one. Um, they brought one back. As a Matthews, I'm going to show you this now. What a goal this is. This is just. I don't often show you the goals because you know I hate sort of this whole match report thing, but. This was a goal and a half. Um, I'll show you in both angles. Okay, okay, there he is, number 32, and boom. That was his first goal. What an impression. And it just sort of leads on to him. So if I just, uh, just pause that and chuck that into um, director cam. Because this was, honestly, it is that good a goal. It's Because you don't often see a ball that's sort of flighted go in like that. You know, often they just smash it and it just flies in. You know, it's like 100 mile an hour and it flies in. But, you know, this one was sort of flighted, swerving, mad goal. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you it now. Oh, please. There you go. Oh, hang on, slow that down. So he's about to come onto the ball. Here he goes. Bang. Just flighted the ball right in the top corner from a young right back. And I was like, wow. So uh, we got that. And then, incredibly, we won. Now, I say incredibly because we got battered. <laughs> I've never been... This, um, I don't know, I wouldn't say battered, but we got absolutely molested in this game and we somehow survived. 35 shots they had, they had 57% possession, we had 7, we had the one shot on target and that was Steven Gerrard's goal, which I'll show you now. 
Uh, it's it was a typical Gerard goal. Lucas ran the show, but he missed so many sitters. I tried to buy him, but they wouldn't let him. Uh, wouldn't let him leave. And my God, he just wow. Honestly, God, and I'll show I'll, I'll show you the reason why. Um, we we did so well, or at least we we got the shot out, and I think it's going to load. You see, this is why I don't show the 3D ad because it takes like twice as long to load. But I'll show you it now. Shakiri um, played well in this one, actually. To be fair to him, he was okay. He had a few decent hands in, but this was in the tenth minute. Jacko lays it off, and well, what do you think? What do you think? Gerard's on the ball. Where do you think that's going to end up? Um, but we just got. Oh my, it's just horrible. And we got a penalty shootout, so. First things first, we had Louise for them, missing, Gerard scoring, Luis Fabiano scoring, Suarez scoring, Lucas scoring, Glenn Johnson missed, and I thought, here's the where it turns. And then, I don't know how you say that, Jaguar? <laughs> I know, it's obviously not it. Um, scoring, Carrick scoring, Gustavino missing, and then Rondon with the winning penalty. Why did we win? We won. That's the wrong one. Because of David Klitsch, the young goalkeeper, the German... Regen from um, Munchen Gladbach, I think he's from. He was beast. <laughs> he was a beast in this game. Um, for a you know for a young goalkeeper, I mean he played in the other one as well. Eight point four. He didn't save any to be honest. Um, any penalties <laughs> to be fair to him. But um, Gerard played through the injury bar as well. He got he was he was injured in about the twentieth minute. And he just played all the way through, and he scored the penalty. So I was just wow. I was amazed. Um, but yeah, uh, Klitsch was amazing. He was awesome in his one hand. Um, he's really, really getting ahead. He's not getting ahead, but you know, he's really just behind Reina now. You know, he's really making me think about him. So uh, I think I'm picking him at least. So um, yeah, that was that was a really good. Fortunately, I just cannot win at, at the Etihad Stadium. From a, just at, at, uh, we got battered here again. I mean, Suarez put us in the lead. I was thinking too early. They're going to come straight back, and instantly they did come back with Sergio Aguero. I was so annoyed. Um, but we then played United again. This is like the third, fourth time. Played them. Edin Dzeko with another late winner. He loves beating the match. Late goals against Manchester. That's fantastic. Um, so we got to the semis, and we played Everton of all teams. Um, Di Maria, Dzeko, and Suarez with a goal. I think that extra Suarez goal right at the end there. Really tipped it over as we played them again and won 3 1. Salman Rondon getting two this time. Steven Gerrard scored an own goal. It was uh, He tried to clear a corner, he just went sliding in. Um, it was really weird. Can you imagine, imagine if Steven Gerrard scored an own goal against Everton? I'm sure Ever I mean, Evertonians just find it hilarious, I'm sure, but uh, I don't think it'd be funny. Um, Man United beat us in the FA Cup, unfortunately. We're not going to retain the FA Cup. We got battered here. Eric Torres, he's a fucking beast. Um, who did he, I've seen him in the day. Um, I don't know who he is. A person. He, he, everyone seems to be suddenly raving about him. I've never heard of him personally, and he's scored two and two. I think this was like his second game. He scored twice. Uh, sorry, he scored the second goal. I was like, whoa, what's going on? Absolutely un unbelievable. But uh, overall, we're doing you know pretty well. Uh, we've got Paris Saint Germain as I say in the knockout rounds. Then we have uh, another league foul. Guess who? Manchester bloody City. Um, so that'll be another difficult one. Um, and then, I mean. It's actually going to be really difficult. Now, if you're watching the live stream, you may have seen Swansea at one point were actually top of the table. Um, Blackburn was doing pretty well as well, but they've fallen down. But uh, Swansea is seventh. I mean, I don't know how to do that. I mean, I mean, it's really weird teams in this. I mean, we've got Leicester, Sheffield Wednesday. I mean, where the hell do they come from? I mean, they're in League One at the moment. Forest, who can't buy a goal, apparently. I don't know if I'm keeping up with championship levels, but, you know, according to uh, the guy on BBC Sports, the update to the uh, football every... Um, Saturday afternoon, he uh, he sports Forest apparently can't buy a goal for Toffee. Uh, Chelsea in fifth, they keep changing their bloody manager, um, which is really funny. The current manager is, guess who? David Bloody Moyes. <laughs> and he stopped saying bloody on everything. David Moyes, really random. They stole him from Everton, and they swap managers. They're, um, if I show you the uh, history, past managers, we got Villas Boas, got sacked on Boxing Day. They had Louis van Gaal then for two years. They had Mihalik Mijalovic, I don't know how you know to pronounce his name. He only lasted, um, Christ, not even se seven months. And then David Moyes came in. And now uh, Mihalovic is, as you can see, at Everton. So, <laughs> really, really funny. Um, that's so that, that's basically it. Um, looking at the um, player stats, I think you will see why. Again, Sergio Aguero, top of the goal scoring rankings by far. Um... Aguero 26, 
miles in front of Musa Sauer at West Ham, who's absolutely amazing on this. <laughs> it rips me. I'm terrified of West Ham on this now. Thomas Peckard, I don't know what that. This is why Swansea did so well because he's really good. I've never heard of him personally. Uh, Suarez is up there as expect. Um, Rondon's getting his getting into the gears now. So too Jacko. Um, Gerard obviously is not going to be up there now because you know he's fading away slightly. He's not getting as many goals. You've got Quartes and Sterling with Handy too. Danny Wilson as well. So you know, pretty you know going pretty well. Um, Tempted, I wasn't going to buy Sour Peck up, but I didn't think I'd need them. And this is why I had the budget, is because I didn't, I was like, well, a lot of people, when people say, oh, yeah, it's all well and good buying Doom Beer. But the problem with it is, um, you end up with, like, 10 forwards, 20 midfielders, and 15 defenders. And it's like, well, you can only play four or five of these at a time in each, select, in each position. And, you know, strikers, most times just two or three. So, you know, you have this team and then you've got these really good players, but they're all disenchanted and you don't know what to do with, you know, don't know what to do with them. They're all unhappy, cause problems in the dressing room. So, you know, I mean, yeah, you can buy a ton of players, but you're going to have a low ton of un unhappy players. So, it's not, it's, you can either have one or the other. So, <laughs> I was really um, up and down about, you know, where to go about it. So, I decided not to spend it in the end. Um, Suarez with 20, this is overall in the league. Got Torres with 23, Jekyll with 19, Rondon with 15, Quartes is amazing from Corners uh, with 6. Um, I think I may have mentioned before as well. I think actually, did I even. I think I finished the transfers, did I? Let me just make sure. Um, yeah, oh yeah, also I sold. Um, for those who. I don't know if. I think I sold or not. Andy Carroll. I think I sold him as well. You may have seen it. Dotted around. Andy Carroll for 5 million to Birmingham. He's not good enough, fair sale. I don't think on this for what, what I do. I know he's obviously not. That's not going to happen in life. But you know, this isn't real life, so I don't care. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think I've really got much else to show you, um, other than we have. So we've won the Club World Championship. We won the Charity Shield. Um, let's make sure. Oh, also, one thing I never pointed out, which was absolutely awesome. I was going to do a live contrast and I regret it because I didn't. Okay, so we lost three, uh, sorry, we, we lost 1-0 to Arsenal, this was a terrible game, because in his second game got sent off. It's horrible. Uh, but then we played Arsenal again in the Super Cup, they won the Europa League, and in Dzeko again, with the 90th minute winner. He's had this incredible knack, and it was horrible, because Quartes put us 2-0 up, and I thought, oh, maybe. You know, and I played a slightly weaker team here, Arsenal had a full team up pretty much, and um, which is kind of weird. And then, they... It turned it around to 2-2, and then I'm thinking, oh, this is horrible. I mean, look at the dick of the ref as well. I mean, how many bookings he done here? And then I thought, oh, it's going to go for two extra time, or penalties, or whatever. And then um, it went to uh, Jekko to score the winner in the last minute. Uh, which was a bit annoying, actually, because I didn't know if it was going to go to extra time or penalty. I assume penalties. But the most irritating thing was, the Club World Championship, that went all the way to extra time and penalties. There was no need whatsoever for extra time in that because my players were knackered. And the amount of games, extra games, you know, we had to there, we had to bring them back and the fixtures went all over the place. And it was horrible, it was stupid. I don't know whose idea that was. I don't know if that would be in real life, but I was seriously annoyed with that. Gerard was dead at the end of it. No, literally he was dead, he was on the floor. Um, so, oh, I don't know, it was so annoying. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I'll, uh, I'll get back to you then in May, when that'll be, that'll be like two weeks. As you can see, I mean, I just wanted to point out, I'd say I mentioned about Man United, it just came to me then. How many times we have played Man United in the last two seasons? It's nothing to do with Man United, it's just the game throwing up these bloody fixtures, okay? We got one, <laughs> two, um, let's see, where else? We got three, four, five, that's five times so far, <laughs> five times, six, Seven, eight, nine. That's nine times in the last two seasons. Obviously, we've got one more to come. That's a home. That's the Premier League. Played them in the FA. I think we played them in every bloody competition at some point in like the last, except for the Champions League. So I'm, I'm I don't know. It's stupid. Anyway, um, I think that will do it now. So thanks for watching, lads, and I will uh, see you in. Uh, well, see you in May, I suppose not physical obviously um, but yeah so uh, yeah anyway yeah I'll, I hate it because actually some people do think I mean May when I mean that's obviously not it it'll be in about a week or two so yeah thanks for watching